Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video of Rank the Tank and this time it's a Black Friday special. So I've picked three black tanks and I've selected them from third to first as I always do with all my Rank the Tank videos. Um, so starting at number three, we are going to look at the IS-6. So the IS-6, um, I don't think it's too bad. I mean, look, not for me, preferably. Um, but then sort of Russian tanks are uh, not my favourite, to be fair. Um, now, just before I get into it, obviously you see the equipment on the top right-hand screen. I run Optics, Vert Stabs and Gun Runner. And I run Born Leader, Rapid Reload, Sixth Sense, uh, Steady Aim, Snapshot, Situational Awareness, Trap Mechanic, Run and Gun and Armour Angling. Um, wasn't running a full crew setup on this, so Armour Angling would be something I would pick. Uh, for my last slot So the good thing about the i6 black is it does have preferential matchmaking So which means you will only see tier 9 you won't see tier 10s and um, So yeah, but other than that for me, I, I I Don't really see much other benefit. I mean, yeah, it's got good armor and um, Relatively well and also just to point out as well with your preferential matchmaking it doesn't work when you're in a platoon with someone that isn't running a preferential matchmaking tank so you know if you're running with a buddy and he picks something other than a preferential matchmaking tank then uh the chances are you will see tier 10s with this and yeah when i say the armor is okay uh it, it's not great when it comes up to tier 10 tanks um the other thing i, I think the, the main thing i find with this tank is um the penetration values aren't that great. I mean, you've got 175 on your standard and 217 on your on your premium. So, um, yeah, the premium yeah, it doesn't doesn't really butcher much in my opinion, to be honest. Um, so, so yeah, that that that's a bit of a downside. Um, you've got 390 alpha damage, which is which is quite nice at tier eight. Um, so when it does hit. Um, you know, you will sort of put in the damage to your opponents, which is nice. You know, it would be, it'd be some decent damage at tier eight. You know, make them suffer a little bit, which is, uh, which is always good. But um, the aim time isn't great. It's about 2.7 second aim time base. Um, obviously, that's why I've sort of run uh, as many as the gun perks as possible to try and bring that down as, as much as I can. Um, you know, you could argue maybe you could sort of go with uh, the um, aiming per uh, aiming equipment rather rapid aim rather than uh, the vert stabs but you know I, I went for vert stabs because I just wanted to sort of improve the gun handling as a whole um, view range obviously isn't great because it's Russian uh, and you've got six degrees of gun depression so again can be tricky on ridge lines <clears throat> But on this map we have come to uh well mines and we've we've come to this position which for me is is quite you know it's a good position from this spawn to get into uh you've got sort of various angles you can get shots on the cross at the back there but also you can get shots on tanks that sort of venture out on the side here uh you've obviously got to be careful that you don't take any shots in return um but like i say if you if you're careful enough um, you know, you, you'll be okay but I'm just sort of tucking myself in here I was trying to get shots into the side but now I'm getting shots from uh, behind up on the hill it looks like this tank is wanting to sort of potentially challenge so I've got to be careful but now I've got tanks on the left hand side so again just, just being patient get a shot into that Drogon there putting down to a one shot um, just going to buy my time he's moved out so he was focused on someone else, so I was going to take care of the Dragon because that's a nasty tank. Uh, I don't want to be getting hit too many times by that Dragon, especially if he's loaded the, H, uh, the Hesh shells uh, and if he pens, um, then yeah, we, we'd be in trouble. Um, managed to take out that tank there, picking us up our third kill of the game. Now we're going to look at a uh, tank that's at the back there, I think it's that Tiger. Tried squeezing the shot in, but unfortunately, the accuracy just says no. Uh, and yeah, he manages to get into cover. So just going to bide our time here, just wait and see. We're in a good enough spot where I think we're we're pretty much hold down. 
so again you know the turret armor is pretty good on this so we can use that to um, great effect but uh, there's only one tank left now um, which I think it's this heavy tank that's sitting at the back there heavy tank or a medium so we're going to make our way over and we're going to try and take this guy out as quickly as possible hopefully picking up our fourth kill in the pro in the process so yeah that's the IS-6 IS like I say it, it's preferential matchmaking is, is a bonus point for it um, but for me I don't really find much else interesting about it but like I say I don't want to come across as too biased against Russian tanks because let's say most you know most IS variants um, it's yeah they're, they're not really for me to be just they just don't suit my playstyle to be fair um, but like I say it, it just is what it is but um, we come top of the board there we get just over 4,000 damage we got three kills only picking up a slight bit of assistance and a little bit of blocked um, we pick up the high caliber in the first class medal there and yeah so, so that just sort of shows the IS-6 um, and like I say what you, what you can do with it but moving on to number two now and we have gone for the Lerva Black and the Lerva is for me uh, quite a decent tank now the downside of the Lerva is it doesn't have preferential matchmaking uh, like the IS-6 Black does uh, it will see tier 10s um, so yeah you have to bear that in mind uh, that's that's one thing it doesn't have against the uh, IS-6 um, the equipment we run on the Lerva Black so we run gun rammer, uh, vert stabs and vents now the reason I pick vents as opposed to anything else is because I want to improve the gun uh, the reload time and things like that and we're running also born leader rapid reload six sense steady aim snapshot situational awareness trap mechanic off-road driving and run and gun as well um, so yeah the, again sort of gone for more sort of uh, gun themed perks and equipment so like I say the vents is just to try and improve that reload because the reload has been buffed recently uh, buffed no nerfed sorry um, the alpha damage has been buffed uh, but the reload has been nerfed as a result of that alpha damage buff. So the alpha damage is uh, 360, um, which is nice. You know, again, at, um, at tier 8, you can sort of hit reasonably hard and, and the enemy will feel it. So that's not, and again, at tier 10, that will sort of make a considerable difference when you're sort of trying to fight tier 10s. Um, penetration values close range. Uh, you know 100 meters is is uh, really good you've got 296 on your standard with 234 on uh, no 234 on your standard sorry 296 on your premium rounds so premium rounds close range are quite nice obviously it does drop off a little bit uh, at 500 meters and um, think down to 250 on your on your premium rounds um because obviously that's apcr does lose uh, shell velocity over no, it does lose penetration over distance. Sorry, can't speak today. It's really annoying. Um, you've got 400 meters base view range, which is pretty decent for a heavy, I think, at tier eight. Um, but downside is as well, you've got your long reload and aim time. That that's probably the biggest bugbear of, of the gun. But like I say, it it does hit hard. Um, uh, so yeah, you, yeah, can't really have it all. To be fair. Um, you've got good gun depression as well with 10 degrees um, so that is quite nice so you can play the ridge lines quite effectively you can see here it's, you know sort of fighting this OI we're not really going to have too much difficulty to be fair against this OI uh, tier 6 is going to struggle to pen us really um, but, and we do slam a shell in there picking up our second kill of the game we're on Corellia here uh, so initially I'd sort of come to the sort of uh, right hand side where you can sort of brawl quite effectively we are staking, we are starting to take some heavy hits from um, tier 8 that are sitting at the back there um, which isn't great but we're going to bide our time we do put a shot into Iron Rain and it gets absolutely slapped by our artillery but yeah that was the problem we uh, took two shots off of the Iron Rain there and that yeah wasn't great but um We've, we've still got sort of half our hit points which isn't too bad um, we're just going to move around now and try and clear up 
So yeah, Lerva Black for me is is one. Yeah, it's definitely a tank. I quite like. Uh, it's a good money maker as well. To be fair, all the black tanks are good money makers. Uh, they do have really good silver, uh, silver potential. Um, so yeah, there's that to bear in mind. Uh, the Lerva Black, I think, is one of the better ones if I remember rightly. Um, so yeah, if you you know if you want to earn silver, but you know you don't want to play Cold War. And um, then the Love Black is is one to consider, and I think in actual fact it is yeah it's actually going to be part of an earn op that's coming out. You can earn this or the AMX CDC. Um, so yeah, if you haven't got the Love of Black, and you and you like earning silver, then you know this is this is one to definitely consider. I uh, haven't got the AMX CDC, so can't comment too much on that and um, that is one that I will be getting uh, when the Ernok comes out um, this week or next week uh, so yeah that will be what I'm choosing so back to the gameplay then uh, we've done all right but we we've, we've taken a hell of a lot of hits and we're down to a one shot now so uh, we were trying to hide there as best as we could but unfortunately we get taken out by the Adler um, which wasn't great, but we 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 done okay for our team. I think we you know, we we put in as much damage as possible. Possibly could have sort of held back a little bit at the end there, rather than sort of um, trying to sort of be aggressive and and getting hit by the iron rain. But um, it's what it is, I guess. So uh, anyway, what we'll do is we'll fast forward to the results screen and see how we go on. So there we go. We pick up the victory there. And as you can see, we come top of the board. We picked up four kills, 3.4k damage with just over 1600 assists and 1600 blocked. Again, picking up the high caliber and the first class medal. Um, so, nice result. Just a shame we got killed at the end there. Again, like I say, could have preserved our hit points a little bit better. But not to worry. So, moving on to the first and final tank, and we've gone for the STA 2. Um, I absolutely love this tank. I think it's it's yeah, definitely the best one out, out of these three. I'd probably say it's up there with with one of the best you know black tanks available. Um, you know when it does come out in the store. Um, so anyway, we are on LR main here. Um, equipment wise, we're running optics, uh, vert stabs, and camo net. And for the perks, we run the usual, we run Born Lead, Born Leader, Rapid Reload, Six Sense, Steady Aim, Camouflage Expertise, Situational Awareness, Muffled Shot, Green Farm, and Silent Driving. So gone for the maximum amount of, of camo perks possible because um, yeah, I wanted to sort of improve the camo as much as possible. I mean, the camo's pretty decent anyway. Um, <coughs> But I wanted to make it as good as possible. I think I've got this down to possibly 250 concealment, I think, which is pretty good for a medium tank. Um, and yeah, it's got good mobility. And, and here on Alamein, we've got to the middle, and yeah, we're just going to get some shots in. Going to keep the vision, but we're also going to try. That was a poor game shot, by the way. Uh, and we're going to get shots into tanks as they cross. Unfortunately, um, bounce that skull cap there, which is frustrating. Um, we do get spotted as well. He's just stopped. He has put, popped a shot into us, um, but we have got a shot into him. Um, and yeah, he's decided he's going to stop and hard aim this position as much as possible. So uh, yeah, we're not going to sort of not going to hesitate to get some shots into him. Unfortunately, the huntsman on the enemy team gets tracked out in the open, so we managed to get a shot into him, finishing him off. Now obviously you can see there the armor on the SDA2 Black isn't great. Uh, it's yeah, it's pretty thin armor, so yeah, again, not very uh, that's probably it's one of its weak points. Um to be honest. Can't really think of any others if I'm honest. Uh, I think you know just the armor profile that uh, isn't great on this tank. Now <clears throat> should mention this does have preferential matchmaking, so again you will only see tier 9s uh, provided you are either playing solo or playing uh, with a teammate that is running a preferential matchmaking tank. Um, 
so yeah we that that is a that is one thing to consider and it's always a nice thing to have and you see we've we've platooned up with masses uh, in the is stuff yeah i6 which uh, is a preferential matchmaking tank so uh yeah we're we're gonna just start playing one plus minus one really which is which is really good um so yeah it's it, it, the sta2 for me definitely um worth looking at it's, it's also had um recent buffs to the gun um which i have pointed out in an old in an older video that i've got on the channel so if you want to sort of know more about that <clears throat> then um definitely look through the channel and uh look at that older video and you can see what sort of i've gone through there but yeah it's had um it's had buffs to the uh accuracy and the reload so yeah like i say the the, the gun really is sort of uh, really is a lot better now um no i don't think it was that bad before it was it was all right um personally in my opinion um but yeah wargaming decided to put those buffs to it and uh, yeah it's made all the difference so you can see as well we're sort of not far you know we're not long on reload we're just sort of um you know it's just you know, able to just sort of pop and put shots in um relatively quickly which is nice we set that uh set that tank on fire that Goronich there so yeah now we're um now we're just we're just sort of gonna see what we've got left uh team is doing pretty well to be fair we're four tanks up so uh i don't think there's much danger of us losing but you know we don't want to be sort of too overconfident i'm going to use my good mobility and view range here to try and be the spotter because we don't have any light tanks here at this moment in time so I'm going to be the eyes of the team. Uh, you can see that we sort of get into a position. Um, I think that Stereo Mill may have lit these guys up, but yeah, I think he has. I'm going to go and get some shots into the side of this Panther here. Um, so yeah, I need to kind of be careful. I don't want to poke up too much. Well, I think the enemy team, the majority, are on this side, but need to be careful because, yeah, you see there we get shot from the left hand side. Um, so yeah, um, but I'm just going to sort of buy my time here and just make sure that I'm providing the vision as much as possible for my team. Uh, I was thinking about popping out and clearing up that one shot, but I didn't want to overextend and get shot again. Uh, going to sort of take the risk and, and try and get a shot into that tank in front of me, which I do. Um, going to go for it again which I do manage to do I'm not being targeted so it says to me that the tanks on the left hand side are no longer looking at me so uh, I'm going to get rid of this um, Centurion uh, now I'm looking at this Panther uh, and I'm going to get a shot into there managed to track him in place which is great now I'm going to sort of pop a shot into him and <laughs> shoot him in the engine setting him on fire which is great and we pick up our third kill of the game tried snapping a shot into that tank that I thought was out in the open but unfortunately it was just behind cover and just as we think we're going to get some more shots off unfortunately we end up capping the game out so um, really unfortunately because we could have carried on to have a really really decent game but we had a good game all the less we picked up 4k damage 3 kills um, and just over 2000 assistance which was really nice um, picking up some decent silver there, 140,000 silver, got the ace tanker, got the brothers in arms as well. Credit to Mass because he had a really decent game as well with 4 kills and just over 4k damage. So a nice uh, a nice effort there. But yeah, just unfortunate that we capped out. Um, I'd say could have carried on and had a bit more of a uh, really decent game. But anyway guys, that is it for Rank Tank Black Friday edition. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I think these tanks, uh, these tanks definitely going to be in bundles. I'm not sure if they're going to be sold solo though. I don't know that much, but if they are, uh, definitely have a look and um, see what ones take your fancy. And let's say, um, if you you know if you want to comment on what you think, you know these tanks should be ranked at, then uh, by all means do drop a comment. And like I say. Please like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video because it does help the channel. And as always guys, I'll catch you next time.